What is up guys, it's Seagull and Gumbly Gamer here, welcome back to another video and today it is the 30th of June and you know what that means yes, it's Q&A Day right, I should make that the title I should make that the title for my own, Q&A Day uh, so yeah, this is Q&A for June 2017 if you haven't already guessed um, I'm actually, I've actually had to pause the movie, I'm currently watching uh, Jurassic World no, well, not Jurassic World I, the Lost World Jurassic Park is what I meant to say. Uh, I've got this box set here, Jurassic Park Collection. It's got all four Jurassic Park movies. I'm watching the second one right now. I watched the first one last night, and it was incredible. But, yeah. Enough about Jurassic Park. Um, this is a sport q &A. Um Yeah, I asked you guys for questions, and I got questions from four people. There's a lot of questions here, as you can see. Yeah, I've written them down on a paper. So, yeah, there's a lot here. Um, yeah, first question. We've got questions from... Dope three two one. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, David Stevenson, LFC gamer on Footloose two thousand five. So yeah, let's get into this. First question is: Do you think Brock Lesnar or Samoa Joe will win a Great Balls of Fire? Every time I say that question, I, every time I say that question, I go to say SummerSlam for some reason. But yeah, um, I know people are thinking like, oh, it's Brock Lesnar. He's gonna win. Like I know everyone is thinking Brock Lesnar's going to win, but I think Joe could upset him. I think Joe's up with a chance. If Joe locks in that Kamora clutch, a.k.a. Joe Cold, uh, I think he, I think Lesnar could go out. I mean, if anybody saw Raw, he came out and put Lesnar in the choke, and Lesnar almost, Lesnar very nearly passed out, so, yeah, I think Lesnar's in trouble here. I, th I think if Joe has a good match, Lesnar's in big trouble. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna go with some more Joe. There's stuff coming off this paper. Next question is, what game do you not have but want the most? Um, that's probably PS One games. Uh, yeah, the only ones I can think of are either SmackDown Two, Spyro Two, or uh, any PS One FIFA game. Uh, Puff of FIFA ninety eight, of course. Uh, but the ones that the ones I, I when I read that question first ones that popped into my mind were Crash 2 and Crash 3 and CTR so yeah Crash 3 Crash Bandicoot 2 um, Crash Team Racing they're the ones I want to get the most just purely because they're all amazing games so yeah um, next is LSE Gamers questions who do you think is the most overrated play Premier League player um, you know what screw it I'm just going to go Paul Pogba here um yeah, I know everyone says Paul Pope was great, but I think he's overrated. Honestly, if you saw the season he had for Man United, you will agree with me when I say he is nowhere near 93 million. Not not even close. Probably about, what, 40 million? But no. 93 million? Not a chance. He's, he's a decent player, but he was pretty useless for United this season. He did, he did get some assists and goals, but, you know, other than that... He was pretty crap. So yeah, um, the Rock or Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, that's one of the toughest things I've ever answered. But I'm gonna go with the Rock. Granted, I do love Stone Cold. I love Stone. I love Steve Austin. But yeah, um, I just prefer the Rock, just mainly because the Rock is hilarious. And yeah, that's about it. The Rock's hilarious. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite Bundesliga team and why? Just Bayern Munich because trophies. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that was a quick answer. Yeah, Bayern Munich are my favourite team in the Bundesliga. I do like Dortmund. Dortmund has some good players like Aubameyang, who I honestly can't see staying at Dortmund next season. Uh, Royce. Um, Hummels, has he gone back to Dortmund or Bayern? I think he plays for Bayern Munich. I'm not, I'm not too sure. Uh, their keeper, Weidenfeller, I think is pretty good. Um, yeah, that's it. Just hang on, I'm gonna pause. I hate interruptions. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, what was I? Um, yeah, I just answered uh, the team of my, yeah, the question of my favorite Bundesliga team not being Bayern Munich because uh, they just have some great players, they're fun to watch, like Lewandowski, Robin, Ribery, Neuer, who's like 93 on FIFA or something, or 92. Um, he's only two weeks higher than De Gea, which I think De Gea is good, but 
kind of overrated at the same. I think he's at least an 87. He is good, but I don't think he's a 90. Um, so yeah, and like Boateng, Hummels, I think plays for Bayern or Dortmund. I'm not entirely sure on that. I'll have to check, but yeah. I'm pretty sure he plays for one of them. So yeah. Uh, anyway, next question. Uh, which football manager gets on your nerves? Uh, probably Mourinho. I know if, if there's United fans watching this, I apologise, but actually no, I don't, because I'm a Liverpool fan, so ah. <laughs> But yeah, um, Mourinho just gets on my nerves. The stuff he says in interviews is just ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Um, he's really arrogant as well, like he is pretty arrogant. So yeah, I just never liked him, even when he was at Chelsea, like when he was winning stuff with Chelsea, I just didn't, I just, I just, I just didn't like him. So yeah, I'm, not, I, I'm just not a fan of I know there's people that like Mourinho, but I'm just not a fan of him. Are you a fan of rugby? Uh, yes, um, I am actually. Well, not really a fan, but... Well, I wouldn't really call myself a fan. But if it's on the TV, like Ulster or something, or like the Rugby World Cup or the Six Nations, I, pro- I, I probably do watch it. Um, so yeah, um, I do like rugby, but I'm not a big fan. So yeah, and finally we have Footloose's questions. Do you think Finn Balor is overrated? Uh, no, I'm actually a big fan of Finn Balor. Uh, I actually really like the guy. I love his theme. His theme song is actually one of my favourites right now. Apart from Seth Rollins, of course. Uh, it's actually my favourite theme song. Um, yeah, he's actually really good in the ring as well. Um, uh, his demon entrance, his demon stuff is actually really good as well. I haven't seen it in NXT but, um, yeah, I just really like Finn Balor. So, yeah, uh, next question. Are you a fan of Braun Strowman? No, but I do like... I'm not a fan, but, like I said, with the rugby, I like him. He's terrifying. A guy his size should not be able to move that quick. And also, WWE kind of over-exaggerated the Roman Reigns thing. They're going on and on about his strength... Because he threw him into the side of an ambulance. That's something a 240 pound man could do. Yeah, because it's Braun Strowman. They're like, oh, look at this. He threw him into the side of an ambulance. I've seen John Cena do that. I don't know how many times. But. Yeah, I. If Liverpool FC didn't exist, which team in England would, would you support? Um. Probably Arsenal, ever, but okay, either Arsenal, Newcastle, or West Ham. I think those are the teams I have a soft spot for. Either one of those three, because Arsenal I don't really like, but I don't hate at the same time. I'm kind of in between with them. Newcastle and West Ham, I do actually quite like. I actually really do like Newcastle and West Ham. They're, uh, West Ham didn't have a great season, but they are a good team. I, I do quite like them. Uh, so, yeah. And Newcastle just got promoted. Is someone coming downstairs? Yep, both again. If I get interrupted again, I swear. So, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, I just answered the question on uh, which team would I support. Uh, See, so yeah, I explain myself what's happening. Newcastle, West Ham, or Arsenal. Maybe Leeds, but they're not in the Premier League, so, yeah. Do you think Daniel Sturridge will leave Liverpool? No, um... I think we need to give him a lot of chance because he is a good player when he tries. When he doesn't try, he's useless. Like he mostly just like he's injured twenty four seven. And that's the annoying thing. He's a good player, but he's injured all the time, and that's what stops him: his injuries. But yeah, he is a good player. I think since the 2013-14 season, he hasn't really got going because of his injuries. But once he gets going again, he will be. He will be really good. And final question, do you think Brighton will survive in the Premier League next season? Yes, I do, actually. They're actually a, a very good team. I, th- I think Newcastle and Brighton will stay up. I don't know about Huddersfield. Huddersfield Town being in the Premier League doesn't sound right. It's, it, it just does not sound right at all. Like, literally. I don't know. I was actually rooting for them in the, in the final. I didn't even know they were in the final. I just thought... Oh, Huddersfield, let's support them. Yeah. <laughs> and they ended up winning on penalties. Three one down on penalties and they ended up winning 4-3. So yeah, I do think Brighton will survive next season because they're in Newcastle. 
both very good teams. So yeah, um, yeah, that's the uh, end of this Q and A day. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Please comment on my videos. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other videos. You will like it. Trust me. And yeah, see you next time.